Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a tutorial on highlighting and contouring the face. I'm going to use a couple products from Benefit, Urban Decay, Tim2, Revlon. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to mattify my entire face, make sure it's all clear. I'm using the Benefit uh, Some Kind of Gorgeous. I'm just going to make sure that I have no imperfections on the face. Make sure it's all clear. You want to basically start with a fresh primed wall. So you can do um, your highlighting and contouring. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Temp 2 and with my fingers just because with the heat of my fingers rubbing onto my face, it'll rub into a nicer format. I'm going to use a lighter one right under the eyes. Basically, probably two times lighter than my natural skin color. Right under the eyes. It might look silly when you first start out. But I'm trying to give dimension to the face. And then I'm going to come back through with my contouring. And put a little bit on the forehead. A lot of photographers use this technique and painters use this technique in order to make the face look like it has a, some sort of dimension in it with light. Photographers use it to basically concentrate where it's at. It's called the triangle of light right here. Exactly where I put all the product. Okay, and now what I'm going to do, I have here, it's just a basic mosaic uh, bronzer color wheel with my e.l.f. angled brush. I'm going to take the more darker color, create my kissy face, and go right on my cheekbone. Excuse me, right under my cheekbone. And then I'm going to go right around the forehead area. This makes you look thinner also because you're making the top portion of your face go back and then the lighter move forward. So I'm just going to continue with this. And make sure it's extremely blended. Otherwise, it's going to look like you have streaks on your face. And then you're going to want to go right under the chin to diminish the chin. And then depending on your nose type, you're either going to go on the sides to make your nose thinner. And if you want to make it shorter, you would go right along here. Or if you want to give yourself a button type nose, which I love, I'm going to go in a V direction back and forth like that. And then I'm just going to move it down and down. Then you can move a little bit up to give your eyebrows more of a dramatic look. Another great place to put your highlighting is right around the top and bottoms of your lips to make them look more pouty. And I'm not really worrying too much. I'm just putting some bronzer. And then I'm going to go back through with my highlighter on my brow bone. But just to give myself some color for right now, I'm just going to do that. Make sure I'm all bronzed up. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to take a large brush with a matte powder. Tap. And I'm just swirling to make sure... There's no insufficient lines on the face. Just going back and forth. Try not to cover up the bronze, what you just did too much. And now what I'm going to do, this is just a, a foundation brush, but I love how soft it is. So I use it a lot of times for my highlighter. I'm going to use Too Faced. 
This is the Bronze and the Beautiful. It's a very beautiful palette. Um, it comes with more of like a yellowish suntan highlighter. And then you can also use this cool tone highlighter as well if you want to do, um, if you have uh, cooler tones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do just a little bit of the powdered sun. And I'm just going to tap it right here on the nose. And right here, a little right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this highlighter right under my eyes. You don't want to apply too much highlighter because it'll make you look oily. And you definitely want to apply the right highlighter because otherwise it'll make you look oily. Um, I also use, which I've used in a couple of my previous videos, which you should also look up, is how to look skinnier with makeup, doing contouring on the chest, the collarbones, and abs. So check out that video as well. This is my Spashbox. This is an official light illuminating powder. Don't think that you have to use this as well. It's just something that I use on top, just to give me that extra glow. I wouldn't recommend using it during the day. And then I'm just going to go right back through and very sloppily blend that in. And what I also love using this for is just the bows of my lips and the bottoms. This just makes my lips look that much more plump. And then I'm going to take just regular lip gloss. This is actually really nice too. This is a blue lip gloss. What it does is it makes your teeth look whiter. Gives a nice iridescence to the lips. And voila, we are done contouring and highlighting. Hope you enjoyed my tutorial. This is Olivia Smalley from OMG Artistry. Have a great day.